Today we're gonna take a look at how to nail exposure using false colors, so stick around. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos and this channel is all about helping you create better videos so you can build your brand. So what you wanna do right now, if you haven't subscribed, so hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification. That way when I upload a new video, you get notified. All right, so let's jump straight into it. Today we're gonna to talk about why it's so important to use false colors to nail your exposure. Here's the thing, whenever you're shooting anything, you always wanna pay attention to your skin. You wanna make sure it's well exposed for most things we're doing, right? Because if you fail to expose your skin correctly, it's much harder to color correct and color grade your footage. And ultimately your image is gonna look worse if you didn't expose correctly. So you wanna make sure you spend that time to nail down your this, the, the exposure on your skin. Now, luckily, uh, there's a way to tell if you're exposed correctly and, and the best way I found it is with using false colors which is not something that's built in to most cameras Sony Panasonic Canon most of those cameras that we buy as consumers they don't have it built in that's why you need an external monitor I have a Lily put a7s which has the false colors uh, built in I've done a review on that monitor so if you want to check it out all right so there's different values for false colors it's kind of like color coded for different IRE values. Uh, I have here a piece of paper. So it goes from red, which is 100 to 109 IRE. That's overexposed. And then um, and then down into the lower values, like the purple and the blues, that's underexposed, which is fine. Um, let's say you're outside and the sky's overblown. That's fine. As long as your skin tones are right, you, you know, you can get away with it. We forgive those things. So what is the correct value for nailing down the exposure on skin? Is usually from anywhere from 60 to 75 IRE. That means that you want your skin tones whenever you turn on the false colors to lie between the gray, you see it's gray, and the pinkish color. That tells you you got the correct exposure. If there's a little bit of yellow, you're kind of pushing it. It's fine if you only have a little bit, but you don't want most of your image to be um, overexposed on the skins. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pull down the, the, the highlights on, on when you're on your editor and typically, you know, you don't want to do that. You just want to nail down the exposure on camera. So right now you're looking at a very well exposed image. It's mostly grayish and a little bit of pink. That's good. Now let me show you what an overexposed image looks like. All right, so this is what an overexposed image looks like. I turned on more light, so there's more light hitting my face. Now let me show you what an underexposed image looks like. All right, now I turned down some lights. This is what an underexposed image looks like. It's better to nail the exposure as you can see uh, from comparing the three. All right, so hopefully I convinced you on the importance of having false colors on a monitor and why it's important to nail down the exposure on your skin especially. Uh, so please let me know if you have any questions. If I wasn't clear about anything, ask away in the comment section. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.